Hey guys, just a little update for you today. Got a bunch of stuff going on here. Alrighty. First thing here, got the drive shaft out of the 84 gram marquee. And you can see, moves nice that way. This way, it's kind of right in there. It's all worn out. It's all choppy. Needle bearings are probably out of grease. Yeah, you can't really see in the video here, but you can really feel it. There's the rear yoke, the rear joint, and there the front one. You can see it just kind of this this way it works. This way it's smooth. This way it's kind of. If you see, I can. If you watch there, I'm just kind of dropping it. This way. Yeah. It's really rough. Really, really rough. There. Oh, yeah, you can't really see in the video. There you can see. Like that's free play. There it gets rough. So I don't I don't trust them. They're original. 51,000 miles. There we go. There's the engine compartment hole. Tidy it up. Got some nice Ford blue spark plug wires in there. Ford racing 9mm. And we got some black loom stuck there in places where it might rub. Uh, the only thing this needs yet is, a, is the uh, solenoid. The vent, so the, the vent solenoid is uh, this contraption right here. There are my fingers on it. These two here. This is the uh, early style EGR uh, uh, solenoid, and the vent's bad. It won't let the EGR build up any pressure, and the valve just kind of flutters and misses and carries on. So there you go. Have a look underneath this thing. Got the drive shaft out. The only way you can really check. Oh, look at that. It's like brand new under there. I don't know if you can see much. But yeah, it's like a brand new car. There you go. I had to zoom it a little bit. Pretty, pretty car. Just have to Full tune-ups done to it. Everything's checked out. I had a new part from AutoZone. It was no good. Took that back. Got credit on that. And uh, there's Mr. LTD's wagon. All kinds of stuff going on here. Yep, got the new U joints. Don't know if Nick's dad wants me to put them in yet, but uh, I figure well, I'll have them here. I have to wear the solenoid for the EGR. I have to get that from uh, from Rock Auto. Napa wants a hundred, almost a hundred dollars for it. And they're the only local place that can even get it. And uh, Rock Auto was like sixty-two dollars shipped. So that's that's even better. Oh, I even forgot to add the GMN discount. So take five percent off of that. There's a new master cylinder going on uh, Mr. LTD's wagon. See, there's uh, we got an, I got an adapter fitting this morning. Uh, I think Ivan's got all the lines run. Let's take a look. Now he's got the new booster mounted. Yep, I got the newer style booster on there. Has more surface area because this is dual diaphragm. We've got new lines run here. All new line run to the front. There you go. That is the non-ABS, non-trash control, left front brake hose. And this is how we've been doing this conversion. This line goes over to the, uh, one of these lines goes from the master cylinder and then the other one goes, this goes to the brake hose and the other one goes over to the other side. So, yeah, we did this on uh, Yucatex wagon and uh, gonna start doing it the 
everything. Yeah, this thing is clean. Mike, you take good care of this beast. Oh, a shot of that. Oh, evil kitty. Evil kitty. Hide. I'm videotaping. Hide. So there you have it. Day in my boring life. Alrighty. Okay guys, take care. I'll see you later.